Alright everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the second episode of the Premier League Online Career Mode. Last episode, we went through the first transfer window of the season, all the way up to just after deadline day, where we start things off today, getting into September. So, we'll have a quick look at the calendar here, so you can see what games we've got this episode. We'll probably be going through September and October. So here you can see our first game is against Wales, which is Leicester, followed straight away by a game against David, West Ham. Then we've got Arsenal, Sheffield United in the Carabao Cup, and then finally, we end the month off with a game against Burnley. And we'll not quite look at October yet, we'll look at that later on in the episode. But for now we'll get stuck in September. As you can see here, we have a message in our inbox. Transfer offer for Neil Taylor, which I just go ahead and accept. Try and get some funds in for the next transfer window, but as you can see there, it's not the most generous of offers, 940k. Could even break that million point, but it's some money. We'll take what we can get. I tried to sell them during the window, just couldn't get an offer really. But either way, got a quick trading session here before our first game of the episode. Which, yes, is not only game against Leicester, up against Will. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. None of that. Ooh. Have I ruined it? I should really actually play on my team, I shouldn't I? Get used to. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. What a finish from like, Jonathan David. The best Canadian player there is. Oh, shit. What? Oh. Let the ball slip away from it. Oh, touch him. Ah, send him off. Oh, I think he's already in yellow. <laughs> Fuck. No, I want to do it to Jack. Oh. Fucking headers in this game. Ninetieth minute. No. No. Still going less than Oh ref! No, it's only clean. Win win. It's not even clean. <laughs> no, Jack did no, fuck off. What a fuck. I was literally penalty. through about to equalize. He goes pretty much straight through the back of my player. Last man and doesn't even get a free kick. <laughs> Bullshit. I fuck will I fully man to get it sent off there and see. Give you a free kick because I don't want to shake this game. Joke, this game is kind of fucking. No, I'm not playing this <laughs> fucking shit anymore. <laughs> fucking sick of it. Was a upset. Okay, so there we go. Very lucky win there in the end. You see the results on screen there where there's another online game played out. Where Owen beat Welshie 7 1. Newcastle against Southampton. Massive win there for Owen. Quite unlucky for Welshie. Now it's on to another game. This time it is against David. West Ham United. Coming up straight after this training session. And for this game, I actually don't have the live commentary for, so I'll just quickly briefly go over what happens in it. We're battling each other, trying to get a few chances. It's a bit laggy to watch, so I'm not going to shoot too many chances. But you can see we both got our fair share of them. Inyaki Williams is ridiculous, as per usual. Jonathan David, though, in my attack, is also very good to use. Ryan Kent isn't quite as good as he is not the same, but you know, he's still very good. So big saves in there. But yeah, that is the end of that game. It finishes 0 0. Not the most interesting. But it is not a clean sheet for us. James, I haven't yet conceded an online goal yet. So I'm happy enough with that. That's Leicester and West Ham already out of the way. So no complaints there whatsoever. But yeah, we're going straight on through the next game here. We're up against Arsenal next. Another tough game. It's a tough little month for us here September. It's an away game too. Our team is pretty much the best it could be. Got Samata in for this one. Ahead of Wesley there. And you can see as we go into this one. As expected, we'll lose 3-0. And you will also notice there, we've got some bad news. As Calvin Stengs picks up an injury. It's not enough to stop him off instantly, so it's not too terrible. And you can see here, in our inbox, he is injured, but only for 7 days. Along with a transfer offer for Revan, which we'll get into in a second. He's a very cheap player, so I held out to begin with. But yeah, quick training session here. Ryan Kent up to 74. And then we get into that Revan offer. You can see it's only 130k. I do accept it. I'll take it if I can get it. If not, I'm not too fussed. But yeah, now as we're preparing for our Carabao Cup game, we'll have to replace Stings. So I'll put Ryan Kent straight into the spot there. It's a decent replacement to have, and as you can see here, we go ahead and win 3-1. Send us through to the next round. Jonathan David picking up two goals with Samada scoring another one. Very nice stuff. And from our other games in the Carabao Cup there, these are the results for us. Every single one of us going through. None of us really having the toughest teams to play, so not the most unexpected thing to see. But it does look good for us, all going through to the next round. But yeah, we'll move on now to the last game of September against Burnley. Stengs is still missing here for this one, so Kent stays in that spot. Bring in the Kamba as well for McGinn. 
And this one here, it's another home game, but it is a draw. 2-2, my goal has been scored by Grealish and Ryan Kent. And I will just show some results here for the match round. As you can see, Will and Owen played their game. Owen picking up a 3-2 win. And right now, I just end off the month. Got another transfer offer, this time it's for El Mohamedy. It's another very cheap one, my other fullback that I'm not going to use. So I accept the 700 k offer and go on from there. But that does take us into October, where once again we'll have a look at the calendar. It's another fairly tough month for us. Starting off with another online game, this one being against Welshie, followed by a week-long break there before a game against Brighton. Then the last week, not the greatest thing to see there, a league game against Man City, followed by our next round of the Carabao Cup against Man United. So after this training session, we'll go straight in to our game against Welshie. Oh, that touch. Oh, oh, yes, go on. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it's offside. It's, it's offside, though, Still. too. But... <sighs> that was some quality goalkeeping. Oh! A ball. Oh, you bitch, Jack. <laughs> Why are we such a nonce fool? <laughs> no way you had got that. What a save. No way you still had that ball after that tackle. Penalty. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jack, if you were about to just do that to me. <laughs> did, you, did you read my head and know I was going to switch it? No, I just know you always go left. Oh, my God. What kind of touch was that? I wasn't even a pass. That was a touch. Yep. <laughs> oh, Ryan Count is so good. He has just pinged that. Good game. <laughs> so there we have it. Our game against Welsey went quite well. 3 0 win. Still yet to concede an online goal. Very nice stuff indeed. Another quick training session here, as you can see, where Ryan Kent and Grealish do upgrade a little bit. Not to a full new rank, but you're getting like, some key stats up there. And you see, we've got another message here where you can see that Revan and El Mohammedy have moved on. A small amount of money coming into our banks for the next transfer window. And another round of training here. Not a few nice few upgrades. Before our second game of the month, we're against Brighton. Back to our strongest team here. Stangs back in. Along with McGinn. It is another home game. So we'll go into it. And we'll win 2 0. Jack Grealish scoring two goals for us. Brilliant stuff there. Scalotto picked up an injury for them, but that doesn't bother us. At least it's not our team again. And I'm going to show the results again for this round, as there was another online game Callum versus David. West Ham picking up a 3 0 win over Everton. Some massive points there, as so far they've both been playing pretty well in the season. Maybe a potential Europa League spot, maybe even a top four spot on the line there. We'll have to see as we go further through the season. But yeah, quick training session here, where Tonali does rank up. He's now 79 overall. Now we'll go ahead, straight into our next game. Probably our biggest game of the season so far is against Man City, and we're at the Etihad. I didn't expect it to go well, but I still had a bit of hope with the boys. But nope, Man City win 1-0. Not the worst result to be fair. Rodri scoring the goal against us. And again, the result for this round. Will was playing well, she, or Will this time around 1-3-0, which is another massive three points for one of us. And again, just unlucky for Welshie. But yeah, that leads us straight into the next and the final game of the episode, our Carabao Cup round against Man United. We are home. Again, got the strongest team possible. With one slight change. Samata is being rested for Wesley. And we go into it, and we lose 2-0. So yeah, we started off as a pretty promising League Cup run. We do go out the two Bruno Fernandes goals. So yeah, we'll quickly look at the results for that round. You can see that four of us end up getting knocked out, with Seth, Will, and David all going through to the quarterfinals. We'll have to see what happens with the draw of that next episode, see if they end up coming up against each other. But yeah, that is it for this episode. We'll quickly look at the table at this point we're at, 10 games in. Currently top, Liverpool, two points clear of Man City. But we'll drop down to the first one out of all of us, that being Seth, Norwich. He's in sixth at the minute, one point ahead of David, who's in seventh. Then myself, I am in tenth there. Not too far behind, a point ahead of Owen, who's then a point ahead of Will and Callum. Then six points further down there, you'll find Welshie. He's had a tough run so far with the online games. So we'll see where that leads us. 
as you get further into it. But yeah, that is it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, it would be so massively appreciated if you could drop a like on it. And if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. The next episode will be out very soon. I hope you're enjoying the series being back. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you next time.